Ah uh, yes, welcome back to John's World of Video Poker. Welcome to Pala Casino Spa Resort. This casino is really big on live music. They have live music featured almost every day of the week. All the bands are excellent. You'll really like the vibe here. It's a great place to play. Great high limit. And the fact is it has the best video poker pay tables in the entire United States. You will find all the great games with all the best pay tables here at Pala Casino Spa Resort. Let's get to it. 8-5 bonus poker right here in Pala's High Limit Room. And we're going to start off with a basic $200 bankroll on a $1 coin denomination. That should be a $1,000 bankroll if we're going to make a long session of it. We're just going to test the will of the machine and go from there. And of course, what we want to key in on is everything from full house down. If we're getting a lot of jacks or better and the two pair hand, along with a good mix of three of a kind, straights, flushes, full houses, if all of that is rolling very well at the bottom, especially the two pair hand and jacks or better, then we can scale up to a higher denomination and probably make a really good go of it and just keep going across the denominations until we can max it out. These particular machines here at Pala go from $1, $2, $5, $10, $20, $25 coin denominations. So if that machine is rolling and you have the temerity to keep going across those denominations, you can really score big. Now this is a willful mistake on my part. The correct long-term hold is the Ace, Three, and Four of Diamonds. The only challenge with that is it's very rare for that to hit because it has one gap in it. The chances of it hitting is one in 540. I chose the Ace and the King as a short-term play because it has a one in 3.2 chance of hitting. So all I'm really doing is favoring a short-term strategy with better odds over a long-term strategy with really bad odds. So as you can see there, it worked out. It's your choice. It's gambling either way, long-term versus short-term. The actual difference between the two holds is anywhere from one and a half to two and a half percent. It's a minor error. Uh, so it's your choice. You can go either way. The correct strategy would be the long-term hold. And we're still cruising along at about $170, which is $30 below our starting bankroll. A full house is $40 in this case. And if I'm within full house of where I'm at and it stays that way, that's pretty good. You could stay within that range all day long. Bottom line for me is if I'm within a full house or so of getting back to the initial bankroll, I'm okay with that just keep on playing hopefully the machine starts rolling along and you can make something out of it and just in time here we are with the full house brings us back up to 175 dollars uh, not too far off from where we started and I try to gauge the game based on what hits do I need to get back to parity And as you can see, no great shakes so far on this particular session. Uh, nothing outstanding is occurring. This is just the grind of 8-5 bonus poker that we're going through here. But play we must. We just got to keep on playing. We're still at $150, not too far off from where we started. Here you go with another full house. 
brings us right back up there again to 185 190 dollars not too far off from the 200 that we started with and if you can handle the grind then some good hits will eventually come along and that's the way I view the game mm -hmm. and that becomes really important at the higher denomination so you gotta get comfortable with the grind of 8-5 bonus poker if you can manage to do that as mm -hmm. well as scale up the coin denominations mm -hmm. eventually some good hits can occur and if you're at really high denominations at that point because you scaled across the denominations some really great uh, <laughs> money can come your way so that's kind of why I focus on 8-5 bonus poker not a lot of thrills but it got, does get thrilling at the higher denominations and the full house is a perfect example of that on the $25 coin denomination a full house is a thousand dollars if you just happen to be on the $50 coin denomination when that occurs it's two thousand course on a hundred dollar coin denomination machine that would be four thousand uh, dollars so it's a matter of if you're able to use house money to get all the way across those denominations and just a full house hits uh, those are actually royal size hits on smaller coin denominations and that's my goal is to be on a higher denomination machine not necessarily there long enough to hit the royal flush although that would be great and surprises do occur and that's big money and life-changing events but smaller hits at the bottom of the pay table pay really big if you're able to use house money to scale all the way across the a widespread of coin denominations that's my whole point about playing So for the time that we've been here, we're slightly in positive range here. Just going to keep playing. Hopefully something develops. Three of a kind, I'd certainly like to see more of those. And that's what I mean by a machine that's rolling. Jacks are better, two pair, miss, three of a kind. Jacks are better, jacks are better, miss, miss, three of a kind, two pair, flush or straight. Sometimes a full house, full house with back-to-back -back full houses. Uh, and they start creeping you upward so you can actually have some house money to be switching to a higher denomination. Uh, if that's not occurring, then you just have to grind it out with where you're at and hopefully you get a few good hits so you can coin up to a higher denomination. I guess what I'm really getting at with 8-5 bonus poker is a game that takes a lot of patience. I know the other more volatile games are a lot more thrilling, but uh, if you notice when you play those games, you're just getting even money for the two pair hand and you hit those very frequently. So you're not really making money on those and little by little, you're just dwindling down faster and faster and faster until you zero out, so to speak. Same thing can happen on bonus poker, but it takes a lot longer for that to occur. Here we are, we're still at about $170, not too far below threshold. Two pair bringing us right back up. And as I mentioned before, no great shakes here on this session so far so I just have to wait for the will of the machine to see what develops definitely could use a couple of full houses right now and after about 425 hands on average you should be hitting a quad hopefully it's a bonus quad you know twos threes and fours for 200 coins 
or aces for 400 coins. When I hit those, I typically scale up to the next highest denomination, use the house money to subsidize my play at the higher coin denominations. If a straight flush comes along, or if you're lucky enough to get a royal flush, then uh, much bigger hits occur and a much more satisfying session. dwindling down here we're around hundred and thirty five dollars hopefully we can get ourselves back up to the two hundred dollar range definitely in need of a straight, a flush, or a full house. This is really the doldrums. <laughs> no hit, no hit, no hit. <laughs> Dwindling in the bankroll. <laughs> Here we go, Full House kind of brings us back up again. Hopefully we can keep that momentum. Would have preferred a flush right there. All right, quad threes. <laughs> Didn't quite make it, but that would have really put us over the top. Would have switched to a higher denomination at that point. Come on now, bonus poker, show us something. Well, got a straight there, it picks us up a little bit. Another straight coming along just in time. Flush would be nice. All right, got a flush and those don't really convert that often, but I'm um, glad that one did. Could have used a full house for sure. Mm, no quad, but three, in a three of a kind comes in handy there. Full house. All right, so we're getting that back up there. Flush. 